Hi everyone, welcome back to Church on the Hill's online children's ministry. Sometimes in the Bible, people ask Jesus questions to try to trick him. And other times they asked him questions because they really wanted to know the answers. When Jesus knew they were trying to be tricky, he would ask questions back or tell parables to answer their questions. By doing this, he gave people second chances to think about the questions they asked and why they asked them. Let's think about second chances or do-overs for a moment. Did you get a second chance at anything this past week? What was it? A second chance to clean your room? A second chance to correct a math assignment? Part of today's story is about a second chance. If you have your Bible nearby, let's look up Matthew chapter 21, verse 29, and then let's read it aloud together. He answered, I will not, but later he changed his mind and went. This is our Bible memory verse for this week. Who remembers the one from last week? Let's say it together if you remember it. So, the last will be first, and the first will be last. Matthew chapter 20, verse 16. Let's say it one more time. So the last will be first, and the first will be last. Before we hear this week's Bible story, let's pray together. During the prayer, after I say the word again, see how many times you can say again before I keep praying. Dear Jesus, you never stop loving us. Thank you for giving us second chances and allowing us to return to your love again and 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 again 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 again. In Jesus' name we pray, and all God's children say, Amen. I'm going to read today's story from Matthew. Look it up in your Bibles too so that you can follow along and listen to hear the Bible memory verse from this week. Let's read together. Matthew chapter 21, verses 23 through 32. When Jesus entered the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him as he was teaching and said, by what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them, I will also ask you one question. If you tell me the answer, then I will also tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven or was it of human origin? And they argued with one another. If we say from heaven, he will say to us, Why then did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the crowd. For all regard John as a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And he said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. What do you think? A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not. But later he changed his mind and went. The father went to the second son and said the same. And he answered, I go, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did the will of the Father? They said, The first. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him, but the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him. And even after you saw it, you did not change your minds and believe him. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. There are two parts in today's story. The first part is about the chief priests asking questions. And the second part is the parable that Jesus tells about the man and his two sons. Let's talk about it a little more. First, how did Jesus respond to the chief priest's questions? First, he asks them a question, and then he'll tell a story. What was the difference between the two sons in the parable? You're right. The first son said, I will not go, but then he did. And the second son, I will go, but then he didn't. Which son had a second chance? Even when parents get upset with their kids for not doing what they're asked to do, parents still love their kids. Even when we don't do what God asks us to do, we know and believe that God loves us. And because God loves us, we know that we can respond to that love with a second chance, just like the first son did. Our Bible memory verse this week is a great reminder that we get second chances to change our minds and follow Jesus. Let's work on our Bible memory verse to remember that God gives us all second chances. I'm going to ask you four questions if you can answer all four, you'll have the verse memorized. Let's try this together. What did he answer? And we say together, he answered, I will not. Did he change his mind? But later, he changed his mind. Did he go and went? Where did you learn this? Matthew chapter 21 verse 29. There are some fun activities in your leaflet for this week. I want to do one of them with you. Look at the section called Fortunate Question. It's on the third page of your leaflet. I want you to cut out the rectangle and the circle. On the rectangle, I want you to write one question you have about God, church, or faith. Asking questions is a great way to learn more about Jesus. Now, after you have your question written, you can put it inside the circle and make a fortune cookie out of it. So you'll have your rectangle with your question, and then you'll have the circle. In order to make it like a fortune cookie, you're going to have to fold it just a little bit in the center and give it a crease. And then I want you to pinch that and fold down the sides. Just so. And then you're going to need just a little bit of glue to put there in the center. And after the glue drives, you can stick the fortune inside. This is your question before stapling it closed on the outer edges. Once all this is done, and this might take you a little bit of time to complete it, I want you to take this question-filled cookie to someone who is older than you and then give it to them and then see if they can answer your question. And do this until you can find someone who has an answer for you. Today's lesson is great. Not only were we reminded that it's okay to ask God questions, we also learned that we get all the chances we need to follow Jesus because God gives us second chances. If you could share one thing about today's Bible story with a friend, what would it be? And who is the friend you're going to share this thing with this week. We've asked a lot of questions today, but before we close in prayer, I've got a couple more questions about the first son in the story. Are you ready? What did he answer? He answered, I will not. 
Did he change his mind? But later, he changed his mind. Did he go and went? Where did you learn this? Matthew chapter 21, verse 29. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Teach us to respond to your love by following you. Sometimes we mess up, but you always give us a second, and a third, and a fourth, and a fifth, and a sixth, and a seventh chance. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray, and all God's children said, Amen. See you next time.